Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S3 3099 by Kevin Hanks. A summary of the story is this, Chrysanthemum loves her name until she starts going to school and the other children make fun of it. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must, must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for her dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with a fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her bright smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum, school. But when Mrs. Chud to roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. Mrs. Chud, Don, Eve, Louis, L, Les, K, Max, Sue, Bill, Pat, Tom, Sam, Ken, Joe, uh, Sita, Victoria, Chrysanthemum. It's all long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after the flower, Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Mrs. Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet. Wow, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I would change it, Victoria said. As the students lined up to go home, I wish I could, thought Chris, sent them home miserably. Welcome home, said the mother. Welcome home, said the father. School is no place for me. Said Chrysanthemum, my name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her father. Your name is absolutely beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Oh, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup. And an evening filled with hugs and kisses and purchase. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as, as slowly as she could. She dragged us her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria. 
as Chrysanthemum enter the playground. Let's pick her, said Vida, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She did. She thought it was all absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During that time, Victoria raised her hand and said, oh, Chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden. Worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for sharing with us and for Mrs. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I, I am looking like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, pish, said her father. They are just jealous and envious and begrudge and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Couldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said to her father. After all, it is absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt the trifle between her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with burning building. Another evening filled with kisses and hugs and purchases. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a Chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and picked the leaves and petals and uh, one by one until there was nothing left but a screw on each stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chris Chrysanthemum's not life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit. With, uh, with seven pockets the next morning. Uh, she she uh, loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and good look charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flower just seems to say. The morning, the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle. The music teacher. Uh, his, her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The student was speechless. He thought Mrs. Twinkle was an in indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression, he says. Twinkle led the students in order. Then she assigned the assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the dainty fairy queen. Vida was chosen as the spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the old, old important pixie messenger, and Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's daisy, Chrysanthemum is a daisy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum's wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Mr. Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on a name tag. I'm named after my grandpa, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is long, said Mrs. Twinkle. Oh, is it, said Joe. My name 
would scarcely fill on an aim tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita Pony and Mrs. Twinkle. Uh, I'm named after a flower too. You are? Said, yes, my name is Daphneum. Daphneum Tink Twinkle and my if my baby is a girl, I'm considering Chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her eyes. She blushed. Uh, she bl beamed. She blamed. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is really of the valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. The end.